for our 1132 Kids Preschool Bible Lessons. You are tuning in to our last Sidekick Series Bible Lesson. It has been so fun learning about how we are the superheroes of life and we have the Holy Spirit as our helper and sidekick forever. Joshua's life in the Bible has really shown us how God is near to us even in the toughest of times. Let's hear the end to our story and how God finally helped the Israelites reach the promised land. In our story of Joshua, the Israelites met Rahab after going to scout out the city of Jericho. That would be the promised land. Rahab saved the two Israelite spies by hiding them from the king's men so that they would not get caught. The spies told her that they would not forget her kindness to them and God definitely would not soon forget either and the Israelites were closer than ever to that city of Jericho, which would soon be their promised land. Jericho and their king had heard that the Lord would soon give this land to the Israelites and got very scared. They shut up the city. No one got out and no one came in. This looked like another challenge to the Israelites, but they knew that if God had already brought them this far, then he wouldn't stop now. God told them their solution to this final problem that they were facing. God told Joshua that he was ready to give his people their promised land, and this is how they could get it. He told Joshua that they need to march around the city of Jericho once every day for six days with the priest in front of them with trumpets in the Ark of the Lord, which held the Ten Commandments. God continued and told them that on the seventh day, they needed to walk around the city of Jericho seven times and the priest will blow their trumpets and the Israelites would shout as loud as they could. When this happened, just as God told them, they lifted up their voices and shouted as loudly as they could. And as they did this, the wall of the city fell down flat. The only thing left of the city of Jericho was Rahab and her family for choosing to help God's people. The Israelites had finally made it to the promised land because God was on their side. I cannot believe this. The entire city fell to the ground just from the Israelites shouting. That is crazy. But we both know that this did not just happen from the Israelites shouting or just marching around the city. We know that God was already on the move and working on their behalf. The Israelites just did their part of what God told them that they needed to do. And the Israelites with God made the best possible team ever. God saved the day with the Israelites and Joshua as his sidekick. In the same way, God is on your side in every situation. Just like our memory verse says, we can be strong and courageous. We don't have to be afraid because we are never alone. The Lord our God is with us wherever we go. Why don't we do it together one last time? Stand up with me as we say Joshua 1, 9. Ready? Okay. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Great job, everybody. I've had so much fun learning about sidekicks and how the Holy Spirit is our helper. And I will see you next time.